Hey everybody, welcome back to Brainiac Baseball's 1969 Seattle Pilots What If Scenario. Today's matchup features the Cleveland Indians versus the Seattle Pilots at Six Stadium. On the mound for the Indians today is Steve Hargan, whose record is 3-5 with a 4.76 ERA. And pitching for the Pilots today is Marty Patton, whose record is 3-4 with a 3.28 ERA. And after our loss yesterday, we've lost six out of seven. And we are uh, back to 500 for the month of May and only three games over 500 uh, for the season. So uh, we are on a major downslide here and we need to stop the bleeding. Uh, we've got our fourth and final game versus the Indians here. And then we have a day off after today's game. Uh, so we'll play this day will advance a day uh, so that we're ready for the White Sox series uh, that follows. So uh, before we get started with today's game, after Steve Barber's terrible start yesterday, we yanked him from the rotation. Uh, he's had two terrible starts in a row. He goes to long relief as a lefty um, and Jerry Stevenson will get the starters position Maybe he can become like uh, Gene Brabender, who we had in a relief role and moved him into the rotation after a trade. And he's been great so far. And actually, Jerry Stevenson has been very solid as a reliever. He's got 35K in 37 innings pitch. So he's been as solid as you can get for our team, you know. Um, so we move him into the number three spot. We move Mudcat down a uh, position. Marty Patton, who starts today, will remain in the number five spot. So uh, John Morris will be sent to the minor leagues. Um, not that he's pitched poorly, but uh, because we need to keep a lefty, uh, we need to keep Steve Barber uh, in the bullpen uh, because he is a uh, making major league money. Um, we had to get rid of somebody who is making the minor league money. Uh, amount, which is uh, John Morris here making 11.5. So he hasn't even gone to arbitration yet. So uh, that's my own personal rules. That's not, I mean, it's like that in the major leagues as well. Like you can't just send a major league player to the minors. You have to pass them through waivers. Well, this game doesn't offer that, which is fine. So I interpret it my own way and um, to try to give it a little bit more realism. Nonetheless, we've brought uh, Dick Bates to the uh, to the majors, Dick Bates will become a, a middle reliever for us. If you take a look at uh, his numbers in the minors, he's seven and zero with a one thirty five ERA. So maybe he could be a, a future starter for us uh, this season. But let's see what he can do in the uh, bullpen first. It uh, looks like his real name is Charlie Bates, but um, yeah, we'll call him Dick Bates. There is a lot of jokes we can work with on that. So that's our new setup for um, our rotation and our bullpen. And uh, I don't know if it's going to do us any good at all, but we got to give it a try. All right, let's get today's game started. As always, I appreciate everyone following along. Like it or sub subscribe to the channel. So on YouTube now, they have a, uh, a new feature where you can post, where a content provider like myself can post things on our main page. I posted two things yesterday. One is I did an RIP um, to the uh, St. Louis, no, I'm sorry, the Philadelphia Phillies pitcher. Uh, no, it was the Cardinals pitcher. I'm sorry, the Cardinals pitcher who just passed away. Uh, the, his name escapes me at the moment. And also I did a poll on there um, asking uh, the viewers uh, which of my four main uh, content creations uh, do you come to the channel for? Is it the sports card content? Is it the Seattle Pilots content? Is it the Detroit Tigers content or the Detroit Lions content? So if you get a chance to vote, you can only choose one, um, but if you could make, um, if you could pick one of the four for me, 
that would be great. And that way I can kind of get an idea of what people are most interested in. And maybe um, we can uh, you know, provide better content in the future. So, okay. So, uh, Marty Patton on the mound. And uh, Diego Segui will not be available today. And Steve Barber, because he's been moved to the bullpen, will be unavailable for three days. So we're only going to have one lefty available. And um, what is that? Three righties. So we're going to need a good day out of Marty Patton today. Here's our lineup versus Steve Hargan. If you take a look, you'll see I mixed it up. I'm trying a new um, strategy for setting my lineup. And uh, I'm not going to share it just yet because it's probably not worth me telling you if uh, it doesn't work, um, you know, like right away. <laughs> so uh, we still have Don Kessinger looking for his first hit as a pilot. So um, we have definitely been struggling early on in ball games with our bats. And then we get that. I don't know if it's the game uh, makes it happen or what, but we'll get that last two or three inning burst of uh, um, you know runs where we make it close but it's never that close okay here is the Indians lineup rundown for today's ball game batting leadoff in left field is Chuck Hinton batting second in center field is Jose Cardinal batting third at first base is Tony Horton batting cleanup in right field is Russ Nagelson Batting fifth and catching is John Orsino. Batting sixth at third base is Lou Klimchak. Batting seventh at second base is Vern Fuller. Batting eighth at shortstop is Pedro Gonzalez. And batting ninth is the pitcher, Steve Hargan. All right, and we've got Marty Patton on the mound. Marty Patton, he has been very consistent all year. Um, he's 3-4 and four with a 3.28 ERA. I love the walk to strikeout ratio. 26K and 49 in a third innings pitch. He does have our only complete game shutout of the season. Uh, he has a four seamer that is rated an 84 and a curve that's just below average. Overall, an 82, the 26 year old ready goes to arbitration next year. <clears throat> oh, let's look at his log real quick. Have, has he? Yeah, he's pitched. Holy cow. He's pitched three times already. Um, oh, we're playing Cleveland. I'm sorry. I'm a moron. Yeah, so he's pitched once against Cleveland this year. And that was the only game he did not get a decision. He went five innings, giving up two runs on seven hits, no walks. Um, so that was his only start versus the Indians this year. Let's take a look at our defense. Mixing it up. Oh, um, Harper, our right fielder is our first player this year to be listed as tired. So I did take him out of the lineup today. We've got uh, Bosch in right field. Um, and that really strengthens our defense quite a bit. Uh, but kudos to Harper. He got his second outfield assist of the year. And it's still not made an error. Okay, here we go. Chuck Hinton leading off against Marty Patton. Let's see if we can get through the first inning without giving up a ton of runs. Hinton hits a ground ball to second. There's out number one. Next man up is Jose Cardinal. They have 15 home runs between their first two batters. That might be the best uh, one-two combo in the game. As Cardinal gets a base hit to left. Oh, and he stretches it into a double on Hegan. I don't know if he was napping out there. Just wasn't ready for that ball to come to him, I guess. So that is a guaranteed run score. We know that. If something like that happens in the first, there's no doubt that run is scoring. Here's Tony Horton with a full count, and he walks. Well, that will give us a double play possibility. Uh, Nagelson, 85 power, and he's looking for his first home run of the year. So that's always a possibility. And Nagelson strikes out. So there's the old walk-strikeout combination, which is even weirder for Patton since he doesn't walk anybody. So that'll bring up John Orsino. I think this is the first time we've seen him all season. Just take a quick look at him here. An average arm um, behind the plate. Not great defensively. So keep that in the back of our minds. Here we go. 
John Orsino. Two down, another full count, and a base hit. So, yeah, that'll get the run in. There was never a doubt in our mind. First and third for Luke Klimchuk. Ground ball to third. And there's out number three. So, yeah, there was nothing we were going to be able to do to stop that. We go to the bottom of the first. Let's take a look at our lineup rundown. Uh, our newly newfangled lineup. Sparkly and fresh. It's Mike Hegan leading off in left field today. Batting second at third base is... Uh, I got so excited I did it wrong. Batting second at third base is Rich Rollins. Batting third in center field is Tommy Ag. Batting cleanup playing first base is Darren Johnson. Batting sixth. Batting fifth in right field is Don Bosch. I want a do-over. Batting sixth at second base is Van Kelly. Batting seventh at shortstop is Don Kessinger. And batting eighth and catching is Jerry McNurtney with the pitcher Marty Patton batting ninth. Okay, let's take a look at Steve Hargan. Look at those baby blues. It's, that's like, uh, what, what is that? Shit, I, I always forgot, already forgot. What's the, um, the movie about the male models <laughs> with the, what was it? The, I tried to do a reference and I can't even think of what I'm trying to come up with. Um, what, cobalt blue or steel blue or something like that. So that's what Steve Hargan's got. He's got the steely blues. All right, he's three and five with a 476 ERA, 41 strikeouts, 68 innings pitched, three complete games, including a shutout. Fastball tops out at 89 miles an hour. Uh, it is rated in 83. That is his best pitch. He's got a slider at 75, a changeup as well. Overall, he is an 80. 26 year old righty goes to arbitration at the end of the year. Look at his log as he faced us. Yes. Back on May 7th, he went eight innings, giving up a run on four hits and two walks, getting his second win of the year that day. Okay. Let's take a look at their defense. This is not good. First, short, third, left, behind the plate. Everybody sucks. Will it mean anything at all, though? I don't know. Gonzalez at short. Is he not a shortstop? He's a second baseman. Moonlighting is a shortstop as Zoilo Versales gets the day off. Okay, here we go. Mike Hegan leading off against Steve Hargan. Can we salvage one game in the series? Well, all right, my, my plan has already gone to shit. As Hegan leads off by striking out. He is a strikeout artist, so I shouldn't be all that surprised. Then a ground ball to second. Two quick outs. Here's Tommy Agee. And a ground ball to short. So, yeah. That couldn't have gone worse. We go to the top of the second inning. Down a run. Vern Fuller's up. Fuller, a base hit to center. Here we go. Now, Fuller, is he a second baseman? Okay, so he couldn't play short. It's just a... It's just weird that they do that, but I get it. We had to do that once, too. So Fuller on first for Pedro Gonzalez. We're going to pull third base in. I don't think he's going to bunt, but you never know. I feel like I have to do something to be productive. Another freaking base hit. God, this game sucks so bad. We're going to pull the in. Um, well, the corner's in. Can't pull the infield in. So we pull the corners in. I guess we could do the wheel play, right? The wheel play is probably the smarter thing to do. Um, all right, here we go. Steve Hargan, 2-0 count. Laying down a bunt to third. Successful. One out. Now we have to pull the infield in. I don't, it's not going to make a difference. He's still going to get a base hit. 2-0 count. Uh, it's a ground ball to short. Fuller holds. And we do have an opportunity to get out of this. Unfortunately, it's their best hitter. Uh, arguably, it's Cardinal. Betting 293 with seven home runs. And he won his second walk of the game. So he's walked half of his total in this game that he had coming into the ballgame. 
And here's Tony Horton. Horton popping it up to second. And there's out number three. So we get out of it. We go to the bottom of the second inning. We've got Darren Johnson leading off. Johnson betting 255 versus righties. Ground ball to third. Yep. They're, uh, they're aver below average total defense. No problem making plays. Bosch strikes out. And Kelly. Ground ball hardly hit. Hard hit to third. And an error. There we go. They should be making an error on every play. Kelly standing on second base due to the throwing error by Klimchuk. Uh, so it's Don Kessinger, who's got a chance here to break through, maybe drive in a run. Does not have a hit, but he 164. And he still doesn't have a hit. We're going to the top of the third inning. Russ Nagelson leading off, struck out the first time up, and he laces it to center. So all three innings, the leadoff man has got on. Of course. We're going to guard the lines here. It's a little early to do that, but I sometimes I think guarding the lines can help you get a double play. Nope. God. Like, I already want to just turn the game off. Like, I don't even want to play. This is not fun for me. He's given up six hits. Remember, yesterday, Barber gave up seven runs and 12 hits in three innings. Um, we pulled him out, and then they didn't have another hit until the ninth inning. So it's like Marty Patton, based on his current statistics... He has to get screwed over in order to get his ERA up to four, four and a half, or whatever the game thinks his average should be. So they're punishing him by giving up walks and, and hits. Um, and eventually, of course, those will turn into runs, like right about now. Yeah. I mean, there's no reason to play this game. There's nothing that you can do. It's just you push the button that says pitch. Another one down the line. So, yeah, but there's, there's nothing you can do. I mean, I could take them out, but, I mean, we're just going to burn up our bullpen. So that is five hits in a row. Fly ball to right center field. There we go. There's. Oh, it's gonna be caught. I guess it is. So yeah. So like it's like once the game gets the pre the prerequisite hits and runs for the inning, then it, it automatically switches gears, and then you get three straight outs. So it's five to nothing with nine hits and two walks given up by Patton, and he's coming up to bat. We have to send him. Through at least one more time. Another strikeout. So we've gone through the lineup one time. And only one base runner reached. And that was on an error. Ground ball by Patton. And then Hegan flies out to center. There we go. Four for four. Each inning, the leadoff man has got on. Ground ball to second. No, of course not a double play. Even with our superior defense. John Orsino will fly out to right center field. And here's Klimchuk. Two-run home run for Klimchuk. That's his fourth. It is seven to nothing. This is exactly like yesterday, minus one hit. Unbelievable. And there it is. He's got it. So we've we've replicated yesterday's numbers, 
And Patton is tired at 103 pitches. Infield single. It's actually worse than yesterday. Oh, no. It's going to be an out. That was an infield single by most accounts. I don't know how that wasn't. All right. Well, this game is over. So we just need to get through it now. We'll bring in a new pitcher next inning. I guess we'll bring in Dick Bates. Why not? One, two, three inning. Big surprise. Now, you know, I've played... I, I'll, I think I've said this before, but I mean, it, I couldn't tell you when I said it last. We're going to bring in Dick Bates. I've played this game since 2002. I've been playing some version of Baseball Mogul. And I swear to God, somewhere in there in the 20 years that this game has existed, it was good. I, I don't even know why I'm still playing it, to be honest. I guess out of habit. But at some point, this game was really, really good. I mean, I've introduced many people to this game and it is unplayable in this mode I, I don't know if if you were to just like uh, go up and uh, choose like to sim like uh, a season or you know without actually going batter to batter like we're doing it now in manager mode if you were to just sim it maybe the numbers are great maybe it makes sense you know, maybe you don't have to go through the agony of watching your player give up seven runs and you don't know why when you're superior to the other team. I, I don't I don't know. But somewhere in there, this game was good once. I want to say maybe it was 2000 and... When was it that I moved to Las Vegas? I guess it was maybe 2012 or 13. So whatever version I was playing back then, maybe it was the 2008 version... I don't know. But at one point, this game was good. But it's not good anymore. There's nothing about this game in this version. As the pitcher reaches base, so five consecutive innings, the Indians have reached base. Uh, an error by Rollins. Um, and then a two-run home run. I mean, there's nothing you can do. I, all you can do is push buttons. There's nothing, there's no other options that you can do here that to, in manager mode as a manager to affect the game. It should just be called push button mode. Tony Horton dumps it in for a hit. 14 hits for the Indians, none for us. That seems about right. That's like a baseball game, right? If, like, the Yankees were playing the freshman high school team. Two more runs. It's nine to nothing. Bosch walks. That is our first batter to reach base. Uh, not on an error. What am I going to do? Steal nine runs down just to have something to do? Kessinger maybe gets a hit. There we go. There is his first hit of the year. Bosch goes to third. Bosch has 90 speed, and the center fielder has a 65 arm. And I really didn't think he'd make it. Well, at least we have McNurtney up, who um, is capable of driving in runs. He leads the team with 22. And, of course, he strikes out. I mean, we got to let Dick Bates bat. We're down nine. I can't just run another pitcher out there. We're already too sh uh, shorthanded by two. And the wild pitch. So the game gives us a wild pitch run. Not even an RBI. We, won't, we can't even get the satisfaction of that. 
And Dick Bates pops it up. He's the player of the game right now, folks. We go to the sixth. Oh, there we go. We finally stopped the leadoff man from getting on. Yeah, I mean, I just wish that there was another game for the computer, a sim, where you could play multiple seasons like this. Um, I don't know. If anybody out there knows of one, I would be interested in it. Because this game doesn't deserve your time or your money. Like, the... the they literally don't care about this mode, I don't, as far as I can tell. There's our second hit. We're going to hit and run with Rollins, see if we can't get something going here. Keegan advances on the ground ball. AG strikes out. Oh, he's popping it up. And... Darren Johnson. Yeah, at least he made some solid contact. I mean, how are the baseballs not falling in in front of these defenders? Like, again, why are there ratings? The ratings mean absolutely nothing in this game. Like, what, what part of the overall component of what makes a player perform, uh, what, what part of that a hundred percent is a ratings factor like 10 percent i i have no idea dick bates on the mound for his third inning of work there's a strikeout this is his major league debut i should have done a dick bates <laughs> Deep dive. <laughs> Another two run home run. It's eleven to one. <laughs> so we're gonna be below five hundred um for the month. We'll have lost seven out of eight. Now I here's the thing. We we knew we were not going to win the division. We came out hot. I think a big part of the game, it always does that. It doesn't matter what um, you know, season you're playing, what team you, you are playing as. It'll always let you come out of the gate hot. And then in May, it'll shut you down. We know that because we've played five total seasons of baseball uh, you know, that I've recorded and posted. So we know that that's how it works. Um, so, I don't know. Like, is it, well, which is the anomaly? Is it, there's another error by our third baseman. We have as many errors as hits. We have more errors than runs. So, like, like, what is the anomaly? Is it the month of April where our team, like, the Pilots can't be a 22 win, whatever, 15 wins in April. This is probably, the way we're playing now, is probably more likely, and it's also probably more extremely bad to make up for this, the amount of wins that the game gave us in May or April, you know? So... I don't know. I mean, it's not like I'm creating a conspiracy here. I mean, we've seen it. We, we know how bad the game is uh, based on its uh, the continuous play that we've uh, done here. It's just, it's just horrifically bad. Walton walks. A pinch walk. The only players that do good on our team are pinch hitters. You can put any pinch hitter in the role. I could have put in Merritt Renew, and he would have walked or got a hit. 
But the starters, for whatever reason, their numbers go down. Now, if you think this means anything over here, like, so there's nothing that is affecting this matchup. This is an 81 pitcher, an 80 pitcher versus a 78 hitter with a peak of 82. So you would think this is a straight up equal battle. Now, if that were the case and Hargan won that battle, I would be like, all right, you know, like if you get, you know, if you're a batter, you go three for 10, you're a Hall of Famer. All right. We're going to bring in. Uh, these are all righties. So we're going to bring in Jack Acker. Probably a pitcher I should have sent down. He's been pretty bad. And another leadoff man on. 17 hits. Let's see how many they can score here. There's a line drive to second. One out. Brown ball to third. Is that his third error? Oh, I thought he had the hat trick coming. Of course, can't go around the horn because what? We are, our defense is so bad. And Nagelsen strikes out. Going to the bottom of the ninth, Stan Williams. Um, we'll take a look at the flat top here. This is his first appearance of the year. Um, so there you go. What can I tell you? I mean, he did even pitch in the minors this year. Spring training is all he had. All right, here we go. Yeah, so so much for changing my lineup, so much for my plan. It's, I mean, why there is no way to have a plan when all you do is push a button. And an error on the shortstop. The shortstop has less errors than my third baseman, who's got 22 point rating higher somehow, which doesn't mean anything. The only run we scored today, they gave us because they had to give us one. And that is the ball game. 11 to 1 loss. All right, we'll play one day in advance here. No trade offers. And nothing happening on that day. We'll take a look at the standings. That's four in a row, seven out of eight. Right? Yeah. Um, and, you know, I mean, like, somehow we're still, we're still in second place. Um, so, I don't know. Well, let's take a look at the National League. San Diego got their 11th win. That's, uh, we're, we're making note of that because of our contest where we're giving away the Dave Roberts um, Tops contract. Pretty cool. That's the only reason to keep playing. Otherwise, I'd scrap this whole thing. Um, okay, let's take a look at the headline news. Advance. Angels win on Messersmith's pitching. Is it Messersmith or Messersmith? I don't know. Uh, good job by him. Short crafts, two hitter against the Mets. I still have to do the National League uh, baseball cards. I mean, I, I don't feel motivated to do that, but I will because I it relaxes me. I don't have any alcohol in here today. I needed alcohol. Indians shellac the pilots. Oh, blue eyes. Los Angeles wins 9-3 to three to share first. And there you go. Let's pull up the transactions. Anybody die? Ah, uh, Dave Roberts, the pitcher, not Dave Roberts, our Dave Roberts. The rookie pitcher for the Padres uh, broke his ankle. Luis Aparicio got his 2,000th hit. He was traded over from the White Sox earlier this year. And uh, 
maybe on his way to the Hall of Fame, get a couple more years out of him. Bill Singer of the Dodgers has a foot fracture. He's going to miss two weeks. Okay, that'll do it. Let's pull up the box score and get out of here. Um, 11 to 1. We're going to come back uh, tomorrow with the White Sox series. We just played them. I'm already sick of that team. Uh, don't forget to um, please uh, take a moment and look at the posts on my main page. There will be more posts in the future. I don't know how easy they are to find or to look at or do they just pop up on their own to subscribers? How do you know to go look? I, I have no idea. It's a new feature and I'd like to you know, uh, examine uh, how it affects my channel. And so feel free to vote if you haven't already. Um, yeah, our player of the game is nobody. Nobody. You know what? Nobody. Nobody gets it today. Nobody deserves it. It's not Marty Patton's fault the game decided to clobber him. Um, with two walks, I mean, this is completely out of character for him. Uh, but, of course, that's what, I mean, I don't know what Dick Bates is into. But he's got four innings pitched with Four runs, three are uh, earned. He did have four strikeouts, but he gave up two home runs. The um, Yeah, N Nagelson, they put him in the cleanup role. What does he do? He hits a home run. I put Darren Johnson in the cleanup role, an actual power hitter from this era, and he's got a 400. Um, no, he's got a 561 <laughs> OPS. So, yeah, that makes total freaking sense. All right, we're going to come back tomorrow. Thanks for watching, guys, and uh, we'll see you tomorrow.